Let's find the critical numbers, critical points of this function and also figure out whether it's a local max or local minimum. Uh, so you have to differentiate by x, which means you're treating y as a constant. So it's 5x to the fourth y. 4 times 25, that's 100 x to the third. And y is considered as a constant, so that's going to go away when you differentiate by x. Now, if you differentiate by y, this time the x is considered as a constant, so that goes away. And if you differentiate by y here, you're left with x to the fifth power. And then uh, if you differentiate by y, that's 3, 1, 2, 5. OK, and we need this to be 0 in both cases. I guess this is easier to solve. Let's try this one first. If you factor, if you take x to the fifth as 3, 1, 2, 5, then uh, let's see, 5 squared is 25, 5 to the third is 125, 5 to the fourth is 625, and then if you differentiate 5 one more time, you're going to get 5 times 6 is 30, 5 times 2 is 10, 5 times 5 is 25. So you get this value. So you, you see that x would be fifth root of 3, 1, 2, 5, which means it's going to be 5. So that's what you get. And uh, once you get the value of x, then you should plug into this one to see what it means for the, this one. So after you get x equals to 5, x equal to 5 is the only thing that uh, will make the y de derivative as, com as 0. So uh, you plug that in here and you get uh, 5 times 5 to the fourth y plus 100 times 5 to the third equal to 0 so that uh, you know this is 5 squared times 2 and this is 5 to the fifth so you have 5 to the fifth times y plus 5 squared times 5 cubed is 5 to the fifth times 4 yeah 4 times 25 is 100 right? so if you solve this for y you're going to get y equals to negative 4 if you move it to the other side and divide by 5 to the fifth power you get y equals to negative 4. So we see that the only critical number is 5 comma negative 4. Okay, now let's compute zxx, which means you differentiate this again by x. That's going to give you 20x cubed y and then plus 300x squared. On the other hand, zyy would be differentiating the second one by y. Well, I don't see any y at all, so it's going to be just 0. And zyx, which is the same thing as zy, zxy, I guess it's easier to differentiate this by x. If I differentiate this by x, I get 4x to the fifth, and then this differentiates to 0. That's it. Okay. So knowing this, what's the determinant of the Hessian evaluated at 5 comma negative 4? Well, that means I have to plug in 5 into x. So x has to be 5, and then y has to be negative 4. And uh, let's see, 5 times 20 is 125, times 4 is another 100. Uh, ten, so that's going to be here negative uh, 10,000. And then when you plug in 5 here, 25, 75, plus 75, uh, 7,500. So overall, it will be negative 2,500 for the fxx. Uh, if I plug in 5 in here, 5 to the fifth power, we know that's this. And actually, if you multiply by... 25 by times 4 is 100, so 5 to the third is 125, so it's going to be 125, 0, 0 for both of these. And zyy is 0. Okay. 
Oh, okay. So you know, we didn't really have to compute all the way. We, uh, I see that uh, it's if you do AD minus BC, it's just some one two five zero zero squared with a minus, so it's less than zero. So it's a saddle. So that was an easy one. 